வெல்கம் டு ஸ்டார்ட் பெஞ்சர் கிளாஸ் கவர்ஸ் தி பேசிக் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ட்ரிக்னோமெண்ட்ரி ரேஷியோஸ் திஸ் கிளாஸ் வில் லேர்ன் அபவுட் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் டு ட்ரிக்னோமெண்ட்ரி வாட்ஸ் அ மீனிங் ஆஃப் தி ட்ரிக்னோமெண்ட்ரி ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் த கிரீக் வேர்ட் யூ நோ ரைட் மோரோ பை ட்ரை ஹேஸ் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மீனிங்ஸ் மோஸ்ட்லி வில் பி யூசிங் ரைட் பை சைக்கிள் இட்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் இட்ஸ் அ டூ ஓகே ட்ரை மீன்ஸ் இட்ஸ் அ த்ரீ ஓகே தி மீனிங் ஃபார் தி ட்ரை இஸ் from the greek it is a three okay similarly gone means you do not know about the greek right so i just giving this uh names okay so meaning the sides sides of something okay the another word is called the metron it's called the metron metron meaning is measuring something okay measurement okay so so that's the reason we are calling it as a trigonometry so trigonometry is mostly deal about the triangles right and mostly we'll talk about the right angle triangles so all trigonometry is about right angle triangles and we'll discuss about the angles and sides okay so we'll see the more fun in the trigonometry okay let's start so let's see the some of the right angles triangles okay so i have drawn the here the few of the right angle triangles here so this angle here so this angle is here 90 degrees okay so it must have the 90 degrees for the right angle triangles right so all these angles are 90 degrees so you can take it here 90 degrees and here is 20 degrees so now we all deal about the 90 degrees right angle triangles now let's mark the corners for this right angle triangle a b c okay in the right angle triangle if you take the angle c and angle b okay these are the acute angles why these are the acute angles these angles are lesser than the 90 degrees which are the angles less than 90 degrees those angles are called the acute angles okay why these are lesser than the 90 degrees you know right in the triangle the sum of the three angles like correct right? angle a and angle b and angle c must be 180 degrees so in the right angle one of the angle must be 90 degrees right so here we have taken b as 90 degrees so if we take b as 90 degrees okay so angle a plus 90 degrees plus angle c is equal to 180 degrees so angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 minus 90 it is 90 degrees right so the sum of these two angles must be 90 degrees if one is 90 degrees you cannot form the triangle right so if it is a 90 degrees these two lines will go in parallel it must have the sum of these two angles must be 90 degrees so that's the reason is these two angles are always lesser than the 90 degrees so now you now we come to know that as a right angle triangle we will be using for the and there are trigonometry mostly all our ratios and angles right so now you know that a and c are the acute angles and we have the 190 degrees angle lengths let us see how this acute angles are changes so let's take few right angle triangles here okay so if we observe this all our this are all are 90 degrees right angles okay so what we are trying to show here right we get, if you if you take the, this points are a b c is the right angle similarly all are the same let's take the a b c okay so what what you can observe here right so when you are keep increasing the angle of the a okay so if you observe this angle a here will be 15 degrees here will be 25 degrees here will be 30 degrees and here is a 45 degrees and here is a 60 degrees then what happens to other angle like c okay in here b is a constant b is the right angle so if you, if you see check this c angle it keep changing right so how it will be changing so the sum of the angle a and angle c must be 90 degrees right if it is a 15 this angle is this angle is 75 and if it is a 25 what about this angle so this angle is 65 and if it is 30 this angle is 
60 degrees. If it is a 45, this angle also 45 degrees. If this is 60, then it is going to 30 degrees. So what we have seen here, right? So when we have the right angle triangle, other sum of the two triangle sum is always 90 degrees. One is keep increasing, another will keep decreasing. Okay, that's why right this triangle formation will happen, and the total sum of the all the three angles will make sure that it is 180 degrees. Many of the places you can see these right angles. For example, there is a tower is standing here. Okay. So, user is looking at the top of the tower, okay? Then there is a right angle triangle form between these three points, right? Always here is the right angle triangle. Here you can see here. So, this is the right angle, right angle, okay? Similarly, if you want to measure the uh, the river width, okay, in this picture, this is the width of the river. If you want to measure the width of the river by just standing, you are there here, okay? And you are looking at the other side of the river, okay? Then it will form the right angle, right angle at this bottom of this building, right? So these are, so the many places they used to form these right angles. So you look at the vast application for these right angles. I have drawn two lines from the point A at an angle of theta. Okay, the first line is horizontally drawn. And another line is drawn at an angle of theta. Okay, this line. Now, I am drawing many vertical lines at various locations. For example, I am drawing a line here. Okay, let's see here. So, I am drawing one line here, another line here, another line here. These are particular lines uh, drawn at various locations. Let's mark these points. Okay, so, so uh, as I said, right, this is the first one is drawn in the horizontally and another line is drawn at an angle of theta and I made many vertical lines at various locations like B, D and F so that it form a right angle triangle at B here and D here and F here, right? So, it formed the many triangles. One triangle is triangle A, B, C and triangle A, B, E and triangle A, F, G. Okay, so that if you keep drawing many lines, it will form any number of triangles like that. Okay, if you see the from the two triangles, triangle A, B, C and triangle A, D, E. Okay, so that is A, B, C is the first triangle and A, D is the second triangle. Okay, so what we observed here in the both triangles, angle A is same, right? And angle B is and equal to angle D, both are at 90 degrees, right? So if two angles are same, third angle must be same. Since some of the three angles in the triangle should be 180 degrees. So we know that angle C is equal to angle E. So these two triangles are similar triangles. Similarly, if you draw any number of lines, so all the triangles are similar triangles. We know that from the similar triangles principle, the edge ratios are proportional. That means the edge ratios are constant. Okay. So, I will draw, I will, from the similar triangles, we can write A, B by AD equal to AC by AE equal to BC by BE. Right? If you take these two equal terms, we can rewrite this this one right like 
if you see right this ac is hypotenuse for the first triangle and ae is the for the second triangle right so we'll keep that in the denominator okay let's see we can send this ac to this side we can rewrite this this equality such a way that we can rewrite as de by de i'm sending here and and ae it is there okay and bc by ac right so why i have written like this i'm just making the ratios from the single triangle if you take the triangle abe okay so it is a ratio of the between the de by ae okay another ratio i am i am making like for an another triangle abc that is bc by and ac right so i rewrite this equality into another way right from the each triangle okay if you write this each triangle here what is the angle what is the bc it is just opposite to angle theta right so this side bc and d are opposite to angle theta right so this is called the opposite side okay which one is touching to the angle theta okay that side is called the adjacent side and another is anyhow we know that it is hypotenuse right okay so here if you see de by ae means it is opposite side d is the opposite side ae is the hypotenuse right for any given angle theta this ratios are constant okay if you, if you draw like you no know, many triangles right i have drawn another triangle like afg even if you take here opposite side like you no know, gf to hypotenuse like ag that is also constant so we observe that for any given angle this ratio is constant which ratio right bc by ac this ratio means what is that ratio opposite side hypotenuse right opposite side to the theta opposite side to the theta to the hypotenuse is constant okay what does mean by constant right so for every angle it has the one constant for example if you take 30 degrees as the angle okay we take that this is angle then we see this constant as 1 by 2 okay if we take 45 degrees then this constant is 1 by root 2 okay if we take 60 degrees then this constant is root 3 by 2 okay so i just written the three angles here these are the most commonly used angles okay but this constant will, will be having for every degree for example for 1 degree you have the constant 2 degree you have the another constant and 3 degree it has another constant up to we have the 90 degrees you have the one constant okay so what we observe here it right? for every angle this edge ratio that is opposite side by hypotenuse is is the constant number for example that uh, as i said that that degrees is 1 by 2 like that each angle it has the one ratio okay then how beautiful it is to see okay so from this ratio what do you know if you know this ratio then you can find the we know the angle right you know the angle then you know the this edge ratios so how beautiful it is right similarly if you compare this to equality you will see that uh, what do you see here here we see that adjacent side ab by ac equal to ad by ae okay so this this ab is called the adjacent side for the theta angle right ab and ad are the adjacent side for the theta angle right so this is called the adjacent adjacent to the theta right adjacent to the theta divided by hypotenuse so similarly if, if similarly you will also see this constant for the all the triangles regardless of size of the triangle okay so here also you see the different uh different constants 
for the different angle okay for example here if you see the 30 degrees angle you see the constant as root 3 by 2 and 45 degrees angle you see the constant as 1 by root 2 and 60 degrees angle you see this constant as 1 by 2 okay similarly similarly you have different constant for these ratios okay so uh, here also if you know this constant then you can find this angle and similarly if you know this angle then you can find these ratios that's the reason now they introduce the terms trigonometry ratios okay so what now i i am going to write the some of the trigonometry ratios here one is the sign okay sign and it will be denoted with sin sign okay and angle okay angle angle is representing here with the theta okay theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse okay similarly another term they define like cosine okay cosine and it will be denoted as cos theta equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side to the theta right adjacent side to the theta to the hypotenuse is defined okay now you understand that there is a trigonometry ratios like opposite side by hypotenuse and adjacent by hypotenuse those ratios are constant okay and constant those ratios are constant for the each angle okay now let's take a right angle triangle so the right angle triangle is formed at the P, b okay so the triangle is formed the a b c is the triangle and a c angles are the acute angles so that it is those are lesser than the 90 degrees okay so we discussed it right there is a ratios are constant like opposite side by hypotenuse okay this is the angle a it can be written as sin a equal to opposite side by hypotenuse what is the opposite side here bc is the opposite side and what is the hypotenuse here ac is the hypotenuse here okay similarly we know that there is a cosine term that defined it can be written as cos a a is the angle and written adjacent side to the angle a okay then how can you write adjacent side to the angle a it is a b by what is hypotenuse is the a c okay similarly there are other ratios also constant okay that is defined for example if you divide by sin a by cos a okay that is also constant right when this constant this constant then this ratio also will become the constant that de that defining as the tangent that can be written as tan tan a is equal to if you return sin a by cos a means what we get a c is you get cancelled so we'll get the b c by a b right so that that is so so if 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 you make sign so that is what is bc it is the opposite side by adjacent side tan is opposite side by adjacent side cosecant can be written as cosec cosecant angle a can be written as 1 by sin a okay so this will become like a reverse side it is a become ac by bc similarly for cos a can be written as secant that can be represent sec secant a is equal to 1 by cos a okay that is ac by ab okay similarly tan a there is written cot another is cot a is equal to 1 by tan a that is adjacent side by opposite side bc
So, actually, we know that all the combinations of these ratios are constant for a right angle. That may be opposite side by adjacent side, adjacent by side by opposite side, or opposite side by hypotenuse, or adjacent side by hypotenuse. So, all these ratios are constant for the given angles, right? So, mostly if you, we need to remember this phi and sine means it is opposite side by hypotenuse, cos means adjacent side to the hypotenuse, tan means it is a sine A by cos A, that is opposite side by adjacent side. Okay, we need to remember these three. Okay, then cosecant will come to know that it is 1 by sine A, secant is 1 by cos A, and cot is 1 by tan A. So, what we learn so far is these ratios are will not change with the length, okay. The size of the triangle will not vary, it vary only with the angle, okay. These ratios, the individual side may be different, okay, but the ratio will be maintained constant, okay. For example, every 30 degrees it has one ratio, 40 degrees it has one ratio, 60 degrees it has one ratio. Like that, it, for a different angles, it has different ratios, but one angle, this ratio is constant, okay? So, what are the size of the triangle if you take? That ratio is constant, okay? Now, it is like, right, if you know the ratio, you can find the angle. If you know the angle, then you can find the ratios of those sides, okay? Clear now? If you know any one ratio, you can find other ratios very easily. Okay. Let's see an example to understand better. Okay. And also we'll get familiarized with different ratios. Let's take an example problem here. So here given that one of the one of the ratio that is tan A is equal to four by three. Okay. So we need to find other ratios like sin A, cos A, cosecant A, secant A, cot A. Okay. So let's take the angle, right angle triangle. Okay. So let's mark these points. This is point A, point B, and point C. Okay. So what is given angle A is is written this right. So this is the angle A. This is the angle B. It's formed the right angle triangle at C. Okay. So he is given tan A as four by three. Okay. Okay. So, what is tan A means? It is the big ratio of BC by AB, right? That is opposite side to the angle A. Okay, this is the angle A. We are calling the like angle A. It is opposite to angle A. Opposite to angle A is this is BC. And adjacent side is opposite to angle is BC. And adjacent to the angle A is it's a AB, right? So, that it's a BC by AB. Right? So, that is given as 4 by 3 ratio. Okay? Let's take BC as 4K. Okay? So, K is an integer and let's take the AB is 3K. So, that the BC by AB ratio is 4K by 3K. So, that it get cancelled K and it will become 4 by 3. Okay? So, that tan A, it won't change the 4 by 3, okay? Yeah, even you can take it, just B, C is K and A, B is, you can find out from this ratio, okay? Then it will become little bit, uh, what, no, no, it will, it will become more difficult for the simplification. But there's nothing wrong, right? For example, right, so you can take uh, B, C as some A, okay? Then you'll find the A, B. What is AB? How will you find BC by AB, you know? 4 by 3, right? So, how do you find AB? AB will find, you can find the, it is 3 by 4 into BC. 3 by 4 into, what is the BC? BC is A here, okay? This way also you can do it, okay? But, if you, if you do it this way, it will become more simplified to do it, in the ratios, okay? So, we know the BC is 4K, now AB is 3K. So that the ratio tan A is 4 by 3, okay? So, now let's find the AC, okay? What is the AC? If you take this right angle triangle, we need to use Pythagoras theorem, okay? 
இருபது இருபது பைத்தாகிர ஸ்திரம் இஸ் ஹைபோட்டினிஸ் ஸ்கொயர் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு தி சம் ஆஃப் அதர் டூ சைட் ஸ்கொயர்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ ஹவு டு ஃபைண்ட் தி ஏசி ஸோ இட்ஸ் ஏசி ஸ்கொயர் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு இட்ஸ் பிசி ஸ்கொயர் ப்ளஸ் ஏபி ஸ்கொயர் ரைட் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் ஃபைண்ட் தி ஏசி ஸ்கொயர் ஓகே வாட் இஸ் பிசி ஸ்கொயர் இட்ஸ் அ ஃபோர் கே ஸ்கொயர் ரைட் ப்ளஸ் ஏபி ஸ்கொயர் இஸ் இட்ஸ் அ த்ரீ கே ஸ்கொயர் So, 16k square plus 9k square. So, totally it is 25k square. If you see the AC here, it is square root of 25k square is 5k. Okay? Now, we know B, C, A, B, A, C in the form of K. Right? Now, let's find the trigonometry ratios. Let's find the sin A. What is sin A? Opposite side BC by hypotenuse that is AC. Okay. What is BC? BC is 4K. Divided by hypotenuse is 5K. Okay, right? So, this is 4 by 5. Right? Similarly, what is the cos A? It is adjacent side that is AB. divided by hypotenuse that is ac so what is the adjacent side ab it is 3k right so 3k by 5k that is equal to 3 by 5 okay similarly this cosecant secant cot a if you reverse the sin a okay so you can find the cosecant a okay that is 5 by 4 similarly secant a is the reverse the cos a that is 5 by 3 You can find the cot A directly from this one. It is a 3 by 4. Okay. So like that, you can find the all the trigonometry ratios if you know any one of the trigonometry ratio. If you know one of the ratio, if you know, you can find out all other ratios. This is the end of the class. Next class, we will see about trigonometry ratios, values for the specific angles. Like, 30 degrees, 45 degree and 60 degree. Please like, share with your friends. Thank you.